clockwise so magnetic field is inward so at this point only magnetic field here the magnetic field b this due to section 2 that is into the plane so you can write down it is mu naught i by 4 times the radius right it is going inward inward means negative z axis so minus k infinitely long parallel to z axis so current is coming outward from the xy plane position of the third wire being infinitely long current is carrying i the dot indicates it is coming outward that part is again a semi infinite as good as the section one in current is outward right right hand thumb rule is the magnetic field will be downward again is the magnetic field will be downward again well so based on this geometry you have to find based on this geometry you have to find the magnetic field at the point which is shown here as a comma zero see the first part will be like this being this is the semi infinite wire because the end of this infinitely long wire is this and you can see uh, this is being z axis and this is the x axis so this angle is definitely 90 degree so the required point is located uh, somewhere this a comma zero so that means this distance is a right so it is it is a semi infinite wire so magnetic field at this point will be into the plane and that value will be being semi infinite it is mu naught i by 4 pi a is it clear so being the section one is as per the diagram section is one is along the negative z axis the current given in the uh, section one that is going towards negative z axis so man, that means you can i mean like if if you observe it on xy plane like this this is being x axis this is y axis you can refer the position of the wire as 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 if it is like this this is the current going into the plane here this is a comma zero right so according to the right hand thumb rule magnetic field due to this will be this way so b of section one right it will be magnitudically mu naught i by 4 pi a direction wise it is going towards downward means negative that is negative y axis right this is about the first section now talking about the second section talking about the second section second section suggests that this is x axis second section is a semi circular loop carrying current i right that is on xy plane so on xy plane this is the center okay the required point is center for the semi circular loop current is clockwise so magnetic field is inward so at this point only magnetic field here the magnetic field b this due to section 2 that is into the plane so you can write down it is mu naught i by 4 times the radius right it is going inward inward means negative z axis so minus k for this one for this b1 you can write down it is minus j direction so have you found the magnetic field and direction for two section section one and section two is that clear or not tell me fine so now for section three section three three suggested you can see the original diagram i have shown the in, uh, again infinitely long parallel to z axis so current is coming outward from the xy plane yes or no so i can here here again i can mark the position of the third wire being infinitely long current is carrying i the dot indicates it is coming outward that part is again a semi infinite as good as the section one so being current is outward right right hand thumb rule is the magnetic field will be downward again is the magnetic field will be downward again yes or no tell me so that means the magnetic field due to this section 3 that 2 will come downward so b of 3 will again be equal to mu naught i by 4 pi a minus j got it now so the net magnetic field so total value of magnetic field is coming two of them are equal in value same in direction so i can write down twice of mu naught i by 4 pi a along negative z uh, y axis plus one is mu naught i by 4 a along negative z axis is that clear now well so this is the total or net magnetic field due to this particular arrangement to 
two straight section followed along with the semicircular tick okay so this is the center that is of the semicircle or origin so what you have to do find magnetic field find uh, b vector at origin for this arrangement find b vector at origin what will be the value of magnetic field due to this given set of arrangements it is having three sections yes or no tell me fine so now out of three sections out of three sections the first section with respect to required point is is, is it as good as the section one in the previous problem one end is infinity with respect to the required point whereas its other end is closest to the required point isn't it if this is the point if you talk about this section one right so this section one the end of the straight section is it closest to the required point so is this distance is a so section one section one is semi infinite semi infinite right semi infinite for required position for required position right so therefore magnetic field due to section 1 that part will be magnitudically mu naught i by 4 pi into a and you can see being it is going towards positive x right hand thumb rule magnetic field at o will be if this required point is o so at o the first magnetic field value will be inward yes or no first value will be inward so inward means it is minus k cap being it is shown on lying on the wire is lying on xy plane so direction of magnetic field will be going into the plane next that is section 2 being semicircle clockwise for that two magnetic field will be inward so for magnetic field due to section 2 that will be again mu naught i by 4 times radius that two will be going inward into the plane minus k right magnetic field due to section 3 that will be 0 because the required point is lying on the locus of the conductor itself yes or no so that's why there will be no magnetic field induction at the center due to the section 3 so that means net magnetic field will be net magnetic field will be b1 plus b2 so i can write down it is mu naught i by 4 pi a plus mu naught i by 4 a both being same in direction so together i can write down into minus k cap yes or no is that clear So this section 1 and if I take this is section 2, section 3. So you can see the locus I have shown with the dotted line. The line of section 1, section 2 either finite or infinite whatever given. They are basically passing through the required point where we need to know the magnetic field. So that's why I can write down magnetic field due to section 1 as well as magnetic field due to section 3. Both will be 0 as, as the current carrying wire as the current carrying always you need to remember this thing current carrying wire is is passing through as the current carrying wire is passing through the required point wherever you uh, where wherever you'd like to know the magnetic field if the current carrying wire passes through that point and what about the section 2 you are worried you are getting stuck with that section 2 yes Okay, no issue. See, uh, I can say the portion of the circular wire is uh, 300 degree. It is carrying, uh, sub, uh, subtending 300 degree because all together one circle subtends 360 at center out of which I have marked this un uh, uh, not available portion is 60. So we know that, see, for uh, magnetic field B due to, due to magnetic field due to a circular arc magnetic field due to a circular arc subtending okay subtending an angle 
magnetic field due to a circular arc subtending an angle an angle theta at its center theta at its center is given by given by theta out of 2 pi that into the value due to full circle are you getting me or not so mu not i by 2r is the magnetic field at the center due to one complete circle what does it mean of saying complete circle complete circle means the angle subtended by the circle at the center is 2 pi isn't it or not so <coughs> so if uh, if the arc is itself only subtending theta so how much magnetic field it can produce so mu not i by 2r that is 2a here that is against 2 pi angle so for theta angle it will be theta by 2 pi into mu not i by 2a so therefore based on this magnetic field due to this section 2 that will be here 300 by 360 isn't it being it is given in degree so 300 by 360 into mu naught into mu naught i by 2a so we can cancel out 5 by 6 so it is 5 by 6 of that is 5 mu naught but you were you had doubt right <laughs> no, no. So this much uh, Weber per meter square direction will be into the plane, right? Into, into the plane. 